Meanwhile, in Ukraine, more drone attacks have taken place in the northeastern city of Kharkiv. The police chief says a college dormitory was hit in the early hours of Tuesday. Authorities say other densely populated areas of the city were also targeted, including a sports centre. A 63-year-old security guard was injured and has been taken to hospital. Well, in a moment, we'll hear from Ali Hashem in Donetsk. But first, let's start with Step Vassen, who's in Kharkiv. Authorities have confirmed that five Shahed drones have hit the city of Kharkiv in the early hours of the morning. And one of the buildings hit was this a dormitory where students normally would live. But at the moment, there was nobody, according to the authorities. Most of the students are now studying online. But as you can see, the damage is really, really bad. And this is just one location. Two other locations in Kharkiv have been hit as well. A very populated area in the city center was uh, hit. Uh, one of the security guards got injured. And this is really a sign that the attacks coming from Russia have been intensified, especially in the last couple of days. Kharkiv saw a record of air raids in the last 24 hours. And also a residential area was hit in uh, Krivirig on Monday, where people died and many, many got wounded. So this is what people in Ukraine are experiencing right now. Step fast in Al Jazeera, Kharkiv. So let's speak now to Ali Hashem, who's live for us in Donetsk. And Ali, there has been intense fighting overnight. Just bring us up to speed on what we know. Well, Sohel, um, the latest is from Morikov, where uh, we've heard that uh, the Ukrainian forces are sending reinforcements there. And there are more attacks in an attempt to squeeze on Saperogia. Now, the uh, chief of general staff, Russian chief of general staff, Gresimov, is right now in Zaporozhye, as we saw in some pictures that circulated from the defense ministry. In accordance, there were uh, fierce fighting in the uh, uh, southern uh, city of uh, Marinka. Also, uh, towards Bakhmut, to the north of Dunetsk, uh, there are also reports of uh, fighting. The city where we are, Dunetsk, um, saw several shellings in different neighborhoods in Kievsky, in Petrovsky, in Kirovsky, uh, uh, around the uh, central of the city. We are in the center of the city, the Verashirovsky uh, neighborhood that was hit yesterday with several shells and around four people were killed and several injured. This comes also um, as a pattern. There have been several attacks on, on this city. This, this same place where we are, close to the interior ministry, uh, witnessed also an, a missile attack uh, just a couple of days ago. And uh, the situation here is tense, and this can be uh, seen in how things are around us. But the main issue is that the front lines are uh, witnessing fierce battles, and this is part of this war that's going on along the front line between Ukraine and Russia. Ali Hashem for us there in Donetsk. Thank you.